All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got the Bestech Knives Spike here with me for our review. And as usual, we're gonna analyze the look, the sound and the feel of this guy. But first of all, let's just do a quick size comparison up against some other options uh, comparable in price. This is the Ultra, Te um, Ultra X Omen right over here. And another contender is the Ultra X Hugger. Look at this, very, very similar in price, in size, in quality. Uh, then you've got the Kershaw uh, Asteroid right over there. Uh, and also let's do it up against another option by Boker. This is the um, Ellipse right there. And let's do it up against uh, a couple options from Spyderco. This is the Para 3 and let's do it up against the Para Military 2. Very, very comparable inside, just a little bit uh, longer than the Paramilitary 2. And uh, since we have it here, yes, this is the Amplitude by Kershaw. And let's do it up against another Boker here. This is the Kilo Romeo. So very, very interesting, uh, inexpensive options uh, for you guys. So this is the best tech uh, spike. So uh, guys, this is a very inexpensive knife. It's probably $30, okay? Um, 8.25 inch long when open, 4.75 inch long handle. Um, the scales are made of GFN, which is glass fiber mixed uh, with uh, nylon. Uh, so like a hard plastic kind of thing. Uh, this is an inexpensive one uh, because uh, it's, it's kind of like on the cheap side, but it has some very interesting features. Uh, so first of all, I picked this up because the design was kind of like appealing. I mean, nicely designed. I like these curves. I like the overall design. And I said, yeah, why not? Let's, let's check it out. Um, the scales are okay. I mean, they're stamped, of course. It's uh, glass fiber with nylon, uh, decently done. I mean, not perfect. You see there's some gaps. Uh, you can feel uh, like some lip over here. There's, of course, imperfection. But overall, it's a decent uh, product. Uh, there's uh, quite some chamfering going on right over here. There's no chamfering going on in on the inside. Uh, just a little bit of jimping, let's call it that way right over here and right over here just a tad over here for on the flipper tab because you're gonna do like a push button like uh, you're gonna struggle a little bit but it, this is designed just to do a light switch and it's gonna be very very nice lanyard hole it, it has a little bit of style even you see it's not just like a drill hole they thought about that and they just uh, give it uh, like a, a little design right over there uh, this is a liner lock stainless steel liners uh, there is no um, insert right over here because there's no need for that uh, there's a little bit of cut out right over here to relief uh, like to, to have some relief for your finger to uh, slide in disengage the lock bar and just close the knife the hardware, it's not protruding, pretty flush with the handle, so that's a very good thing. And um, it's gonna be pretty straightforward and easy to disassemble, just uh, uh, T6 and for these guys and you're done. This is keyed in, so it's not gonna go anywhere, so very, very nice job. Uh, pocket clip is stainless steel, it's polished, it's di uh, deep carry, tip up only, it's not reversible, uh, but it's nicely designed. I mean, uh, there's a, I would have preferred maybe a little bit more of clip ramp, but the spring tension is perfect. So not uh, reversible and not ambidextrous. The blade is a 12, um, it's a 12C27 steel, uh, so not the best steel around there, but it's uh, it's okay. I mean, for the price, we can't really complain that much. There's a mi micro swedge kind of thing going on over here, right past the jimping, which is not really efficient. It's just flush, it's just aesthetically. Uh, aesthetical thing, not really functional. Um, then the blade just widens up right over here to reveal the full thickness uh, of the stock. And then uh, you see it's pretty thick even to the tip right over here. And you have maybe 50%, 60% of belly right up to here. And then straight edge up to the sharpening choil, nice flat grind, satin finish, dual tone with this DLC coated uh, flats uh, going on right over here. You have some billboarding going on, Bestec Knives, uh, Spike, uh, that's the model, and you got the um, the Steel Employed, which are gonna be a little bit 
crowding the the, the blade. Um, also, the sound this guy makes, it's this. Very nice. When you close it, kind of minimal and muffled. When you open it, it is... Guys, this is nice. I, I have to say, let's be honest. It's a nice sound. It's a nice cluck. Very nice. When you close it, also it's a nice, uh, not a clink, but it's a, it's a little thud with a thump in it, let's say. Uh, this guy is, uh, is, is, is pretty light. This is like 4.3 ounces in the pocket. Um, and when you squeeze the handle, I see just a, I feel just a little bit of a hot spot right into this position, but not really sharp edges uh, going on. Just this, this here uh, going on right over here in the clip. Um, overall, the grip feels good. Uh, if you squeeze it, of course, there's gonna be some uh, flex because uh, it's made of plastic, pretty thin liners. Look at this. So you can pretty squeeze this guy uh, easily. The liners are, the this liner over here, it, it is, uh, you see, there's uh, three holes, four holes to reduce the weight. Um, but uh, I think they're gonna, they gave up some of the rigidity of their overall structure with the choice of um, also like a GFN backspacer right over here. And these two screws, like too close, they should have done something like right over here in order to retain a little bit more rigidity to the structure. Uh, the clip ramp is, uh, I would have preferred a little bit more, but the tension is dialed in, nice deep carry. I mean, you're gonna show this guy this much of the, bla of the um, uh, heel of the handle from the pocket, so it, it's okay. Deployment speed, guy, this is, this is nice. This is a fast uh, deployment speed uh, for a budget knife, absolutely. As long as you do a light switch, no finger sore whatsoever, it's smooth, it's running on bearings. Uh, detent strength is a little bit on the weak side, uh, but uh, overall, uh, what I really like about this guy is the closing action, because look at this, guys. This is very nice. I mean, I tuned this up. I did some maintenance on this guy right out of the box, but look at this. It is uh, centered, look at this flies open, and it's smooth when closing. So it, it is very good. There's no lock stick, there's no detent ball ramp, just a little hard step right over there. It free falls and not guillotine effect, you have just to wiggle like uh, in a very minute way, but it's a pleasant, pleasant action, I'm telling you guys. So this is a very inexpensive option uh, for you guys, uh, which looks uh, decently. It feels in the hand nicely, has a nice sound, and the action is actually pretty good. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.